How's it going guys, it's me Captain Caden, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm kind of late to this topic, but it's a topic that no one can get their head around and it's been unavoidable for the past month or so. Yes, I'm on about the coronavirus and I'm really late to the, um, covering the situation on my channel. But I feel like this is the right time because um, today on the 18th of March, Wednesday, Boris Johnson made the choice to shut down schools on Friday to the, um, this week, which was decided uh, like pretty much straight after Wales and Scotland decided to close down their schools. So th this affects a lot of people. I'm pretty sure a lot of you will know that already. Not just not just me, I'm 15 by the way, I'm in year 10. I don't know what that is equivalent to in uh, US grades. But in the UK, I'm in year 10, I'm 15. Just in case you didn't know that already, now that you know. Um, this doesn't just affect me, being a year away from my GCSEs next year. But this also affects year 11s, which are meant to be doing their GCSEs in a few months time. So, this is what um, Boris Johnson. Bor oh, sorry, what happened there? This is what Boris Johnson made um, made the choice to do. All schools to close from Friday. GCSE and A level exams cancelled. UK coronavirus as it happened. That's from the Guardian. Guardian, by the way, if you want to check that source out. So Boris Johnson made the decision to also postpone, or as as it said in that article, cancel GCSEs. Not just GCSEs, but also A-level students are being affected by this, as A-levels are also going to be cancelled. Cancelled, I say. Um, realistically, it's postponed, as other other people say. Because I also have another article here. What could happen to GCSEs and A-levels? And uh, Gavin... Gavin Williamson, who is the Education Secretary, said uh, to the House of Commons, I can confirm that we will not go ahead with the assessments or exams and that we will not be publishing performances t performance tables for this academic year. Um, they're going to be wor working with the sector and off call to ensure that children get the qualifications they need. Um, his department's working close closely with local authorities and head teachers, everyone. Um, how the, on how they're going to deliver the change as effectively as possible because of course if they're going to postpone exams which is what they want to do rather than just completely cancel it at all because I've heard that apparently they're going to use predicted grades that are given by the school to um, to determine what their actual GCSE grade is which I don't agree with because I know for sure my school and many other schools they put the grade um, prediction a bit lower than what you're actually capable of to make sure that you're working harder and I know that myself and I'm taking, taking that for granted and trying to push myself to work harder than what I'm doing at the moment but if they're, t if they're using these predicted grades and not doing anything about it but just keeping it the same that's going to affect a lot of people's lives for the future. And I also saw in this article that um, they might move university four weeks later for year 11s that are going to move into there. So yeah, here's the, here's the quote right here. Uh, the former chief examiner said, stressing that the exam season, we're talking about postponement rather than cancellation. So they're not, they they want to um, postpone it rather, postpone it rather than just completely cancel it at all so that people can still manage to do their GCSEs and get their actual grade rather than putting all this, like putting all this revision effort in and then ending up with a grade that they don't actually deserve because they didn't actually work for it and that doesn't really show 
that the true self, if you know what I mean. So, I can't, I can't remember where they said stuff about university moving. So this is also a quote that was given by Mr. Breslin saying um, students could choose courses based on their predicted grades but also have a transition period between sitting their GCSEs and beginning their A-levels and A's level courses. I don't know about that. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the one stressing this much here. There's a lot of other topics that are also going on that have been affected by coronavirus. One of them that I am kind of stressing about, not completely as much as my dad, trust funds, like a lot of people's trust funds, everyone's trust funds, as a matter of fact, are being affected by stocks going down recently. It's always been negatives recently on the stocks, which means it affects our trust funds. So my child trust fund is going down day by day, very rapidly, I've got to say, which is quite unfortunate because all that money that's been going over the years, um, completely just shoved out onto investments within the trust fund, which is quite annoying. So it is a stressful time for everyone. What can you do to help it out? I'm pretty sure you've heard this already. You don't really need to hear it from me again, but I'm just going to say it just in case you have no idea somehow. Wash your hands for 20 seconds, which is the equivalent of singing happy birthday twice in your head. And just doing that regularly every day. If you do show any symptoms of coronavirus, which you can search up on the NHS website, um, then make sure you go get yourself checked out for whether you have coronavirus or not. And make sure you stay close to your relatives, to be honest. Like, I, w I would say don't don't get as close to your, like, older relatives. Because, of course, they're the most vulnerable to coronavirus at this moment. As studies have shown that it's about... It's, like, it's, a, it's majorly older people that are getting affected by coronavirus. Um, as you can see here. The number of people that to test positive coronavirus in the UK as of 9am on Wednesday was 2,626, up from 1,950, so that's a rise of 676. And there have been a few deaths within those numbers um, since people were tested positive coronavirus. And that's majorly older people, so I'm not stressing much, my parents ain't stressing much. And so are my grandparents which are around um, their 60s and 70s at the moment. To be honest, I think they're going to be fine because I don't know about you guys, but my, my grandparents are pretty fit and active at the moment. Um, they're always going on their daily walks regardless of the whole um, situation right now. They're just following their own rules rather than fo following uh, government guidelines to stay in if you're like older. Um... Yeah, they're going on their daily walks. They have no underlying... Um, no underlying, like, effects to them. They're not... I don't, I don't know what... I forgot what the word is now. This is what happens when I can't think of words on the spot. Um, they, they have no other problems with them. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So they have less of a chance of being killed by coronavirus. I know it, it does not sound nice to say that death by coronavirus, but unfortunately, this is the situation we're at. A lot of people are dying from coronavirus due to underlying problems with their body in some way. And I'm sure a lot of people have lost their loved ones that are older. But if you're younger, you, you shouldn't stress as much. If you If you're like around somewhere under the age of 59 or 60 or whatever, then you'll be fine. But if you're above, I'd suggest that you stay in every day, basically, until further notice. 
that's what the government are su suggesting at least. But that's that's basically all I've got really got to say on this topic at the moment. There's a lot more. There's a lot more stuff that I want to talk about based on coronavirus, but that's kind of the stuff that's been affecting me, not just me, but a lot of other people. But don't forget, guys, we're all in the same situation at the moment. It's a very stressful time for everyone, and um, the be the best situation, no, the best you can make of this situation is mostly just to stay in and. Keep distance from everyone. Reduce density and increase social distance. That's what we've been suggested by the government. And it's like the only solution we really have to this problem at the moment. We haven't found a cure for cancer. Nor have we found a cure for coronavirus. If we haven't found a cure for cancer since it's been around in its time. There's not going to be a cure for coronavirus I'm thinking for a long time. So that's all I really wanted to talk about guys. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you do leave a thumbs up. I'll try getting some proper videos out. Um, Cause of course schools close on Friday and onwards until further notice. So I'm going to make the most of my afternoons after doing all my schoolwork for like six hours straight. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm just going to try getting more videos out and try to keep you guys happy because I'm, I'm trying to stay happy at the moment. As a matter of fact, I'm happy. I'm not stressing. So you guys shouldn't be stressing as much. I'm going to try to cool you guys down if you are having problems. But that's all I've really got to talk about. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you do subscribe for more videos and I shall see you in the next one. See ya.